Everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Recently, new party footage of Sean Diddy Combs and LeBron James has taken the internet by storm, sparking a flurry of reactions from fans and celebrities alike. The lively clips showcase the dynamic duo enjoying a night out, leaving many to wonder about the context of their celebration. What does this footage reveal about their friendship? Could there be more to this party than meets the eye? Join us as we dive into the shocking new party footage of Diddy and LeBron James that's gone viral. The viral footage, a video featuring LeBron James and Sean Diddy Combs has recently resurfaced and caused quite a stir on social media. In the clip, James enthusiastically states, Hey, everybody knows ain't no party like a Diddy party. Everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's what's yeah. up. During an Instagram live session with Combs that took place four years ago. Initially, this comment was lighthearted and fun. However, the context has changed dramatically due to the serious allegations that Combs is currently facing. Sean Diddy Combs is a well-known figure in the music industry, but he is now in a federal prison in Brooklyn. He was arrested on serious charges, including trafficking, collaborating in underground operations, and deceptive network. These charges come from allegations that Combs organized events known as freak-off parties, where women were reportedly encouraged to meet with male escorts. Such serious allegations have severely impacted Combs' public image and led to a closer look at his past actions and associations. LeBron James, who is now 39 years old, has not publicly commented on the resurfaced video or the serious allegations against Combs. The video, where James praises Combs' parties, has led to speculation and questions regarding their relationship. However, it is crucial to note that there is no evidence linking James to any of the alleged activities involving Combs. The legal proceedings against Combs have gained significant media attention. Federal prosecutors have accused him of being the mastermind behind events where women were allegedly forced into inappropriate work. According to the indictment, these parties were used to exploit women, with Combs supposedly playing a key role in organizing them. Combs was arrested by Homeland Security Investigations on September 16th at the Park Hyatt, New York. After his arrest, a federal court in Manhattan denied his request for home arrest. Instead, he was ordered to remain in custody at the Brooklyn Metropolitan Detention Center without the option of posting bond. While James's statement was made in a seemingly innocent and cheerful context, it has now been reinterpreted against the backdrop of the serious charges Combs is facing. As Combs' legal case moves forward. He's innocent. Uh, he came to New York to establish his innocence. He's not afraid. Both the public and media continue to examine his past actions and relationships. Even with the significant attention that the video has received, it remains essential to recognize that there is no evidence implicating James in any of the alleged crimes associated with Combs. The resurfacing of LeBron James's enthusiastic praise for Diddy's parties leaves us questioning the implications of his relationship with the embattled star. What does this mean for LeBron's reputation? How will the ongoing legal drama unfold? Let's explore the latest developments surrounding LeBron's cautious comments and the surrounding controversy. LeBron's comments on Diddy NBA star LeBron James recently made headlines regarding his comments on Sean Diddy Combs amid serious allegations. Combs is facing trafficking charges and James has chosen to remain cautious. He stated, I prefer not to speak on this matter until I know how much information becomes public knowledge. This careful approach suggests that James wants to understand the situation fully before expressing his opinions. A rumor started circulating online in late September 2024, where many users claimed that James had made this statement about Combs' alleged activities. The quote was interpreted as James distancing himself from the controversy and the accusations against Combs. This has sparked curiosity and speculation among fans and followers alike. One of the platforms where this rumor gained traction is X, formerly known as Twitter. A user named Wall Street Silve, who has a substantial following of over 1.4 million people, posted a meme that included a photo of James answering questions from reporters. 
Diddy party stories, they're our favorite genre of anecdote. If oh, you really? have one, yeah. Wow, okay, I've got a lot I can't tell. <laughs> Alongside it was another picture showing James and Combs together. The meme also referenced the fine print, suggesting that James's comment was a response to a question about how many of Combs' freak-off parties he had attended. This meme went viral, accumulating over 3 million views. The meme's popularity didn't stop there. It made its way onto TikTok, where it received over 1.4 million views as well. It also appeared on other websites, including AmericasBestPicks.com and iFunny.co, as well as in another TikTok video. The engagement on these posts indicates that many people were curious about James's connection to Combs and the nature of the allegations. In the comments section of the TikTok video, Numerous users expressed their opinions, with many believing that James's quote was indeed genuine. One comment, which garnered almost 40,000 likes, noted, That's the most guilty comment I've ever seen outside of a confession. This highlights how some viewers interpreted James's words as an admission of guilt regarding his association with Combs. Despite the strong reactions to the meme and the quote, there is no evidence that LeBron James ever made such a statement. A thorough search of sports news websites, both major and minor, revealed no articles reporting James's comments. Additionally, no videos or clips exist showing him making such remarks to any reporters. As a result, the origin of this rumor remains unclear, and it seems to have taken on a life of its own on social media. To further clarify the context of the images used in the meme, they were taken at different events. The photo of James and Combs together was captured by photographer Christopher Polk at the SPY Awards show on July 17, 2013. The other image, where James is seen answering questions from reporters, was taken by photographer Ethan Miller in Las Vegas on October 5, 2022. The combination of these images with the fabricated quote has contributed to the spread of the rumor. LeBron's cautious comments about Diddy have raised eyebrows and sparked widespread speculation. How does his past association with Diddy impact his reputation now? Will James finally address the controversies surrounding his connections to the rappers' parties? Stay tuned with us to explore the internet's reactions to this unfolding drama. Internet reacts to LeBron James, hyping up Diddy's party. Interestingly, he quietly unfollowed Sean Diddy Combs on Instagram several months before a scandal erupted surrounding the rapper. This move has led many to speculate that James was distancing himself from Combs, especially since he has remained silent about his connections to the controversial party scene associated with the rapper. Reports indicate that James unfollowed Combs just days after CNN released a disturbing hotel surveillance video from 2016, which shows Combs having a disagreement with his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. Over the course of his two-decade career, LeBron James has built a strong reputation as a player who largely stays out of off-court scandals. He is often celebrated for his professionalism and dedication to the game. However, his image has come under scrutiny following the resurfacing of a clip that connects him to Combs' infamous parties. Though James has not been implicated in any of Diddy's alleged activities, his previous association with these events has sparked curiosity and concern among fans and commentators alike. As news of the scandal spread, the internet reacted strongly, with many users expressing their disbelief and disappointment in James. One user commented, Really, LeBron James, common I'm not believing that. This reaction highlights the shock that many fans felt when they realized James had once endorsed Combs' parties. Another user added, Well, this Diddy guy even made athletes dance on his fingers. No way why Hollywood isn't speaking up. This comment reflects frustration with the perceived silence of celebrities in the face of troubling behavior. Additionally, a third user questioned, is LeBron James going to weigh in on his friend's freak-offs? I mean, we hear from the king on virtually every political issue, so this seems like an odd one to stay quiet about. This sentiment underscores the expectation that James, known for his outspoken nature on various issues, should address the situation. 
Furthermore, the pressure for James to disassociate himself from Diddy may have increased after fans brought up an old clip where he praises the rapper's parties. In this clip, he can be heard saying, ain't no party like a Diddy party. Everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. <laughs> yeah, that's your son. <laughs> yeah. It seems clear that James will likely avoid attending any more parties hosted by Diddy, given the surrounding controversy. Many YouTube users have since reposted this clip from a previous live Instagram broadcast, with one particular user presenting a clearer version of the video compared to others shared at lower quality. The internet's shock over LeBron James's connection to Diddy's parties raises questions about the broader implications of celebrity affiliations. How do these connections shape public perception? And who else from the sports world is drawn to Diddy's extravagant gatherings? Stay with us to get the fascinating links between Diddy and other famous athletes. Diddy's connections to other famous athletes and celebrities. Sean Diddy Combs is famous for his extravagant lifestyle and star-studded parties. Nothing special. And hold on, ain't nothing like a mama's love. Uh, well, Mama Combs win. in the building, y'all. Over the years, he has hosted many events that attract a wide range of celebrities, including some of the biggest names in sports. These gatherings often serve as a bridge between the worlds of entertainment and athletics, showcasing the connections between the two industries. One notable athlete who has been seen at Diddy's parties is boxer Devin Haney. Haney is a rising star in the boxing world and has been photographed with Diddy on multiple occasions. Recently, he was spotted at one of Diddy's lavish pool parties, enjoying the festive atmosphere. His attendance at these gatherings highlights how Diddy's events have become a staple in the lives of many celebrities, including prominent athletes like Haney, who are looking to connect and unwind in a fun environment. Another athlete frequently seen at Diddy's parties is Lewis Hamilton, the celebrated Formula One driver. Hamilton is known for his success on the racetrack and his vibrant personality off it. He has publicly praised Diddy in the past, even taking to Twitter in 2018 to express his admiration. In that tweet, he dedicated an unequivocal message to the rapper, calling him a brother. However, that tweet is currently unavailable, suggesting that Hamilton may have deleted it. This interaction illustrates the strong bond between Hamilton and Diddy, further cementing the allure of Diddy's events. Floyd Mayweather Jr., the undefeated boxing champion, is another well-known athlete often seen at Diddy's parties. Mayweather is recognized for his lavish lifestyle, and his presence at these events is almost a given. His appearances attract significant attention, not only because of his boxing success, but also due to his love for luxury and high-profile socializing. Both Mayweather and Diddy share a mutual appreciation for the finer things in life, making their interactions at these parties a spectacle in their own right. Kevin Durant, the NBA superstar, also frequently attends Diddy's parties. Durant's presence at these events highlights the deep connections between the sports and entertainment industries. Known for his competitive spirit on the basketball court, Durant's attendance reveals a different side of him. Additionally, Tennis legend Serena Williams has been a guest at Diddy's parties. Williams is celebrated for her dominance on the tennis court and brings a touch of elegance and athletic excellence to these events. Diddy's events brought together a dazzling array of celebrities and athletes, showcasing the fusion of entertainment and sports. Hey, you know what I tell people all the time? I'm only human. <laughs> but what secrets lurked beneath the glitz and glamour? How did these extravagant gatherings shift from celebration to controversy? Let's explore the shocking revelations from photographer Selma Fonseca about Diddy's infamous parties. Photographer Selma Fonseca broke the silence. Sean Diddy legendary gatherings, known as white parties, took place at his luxurious homes in the Hamptons, Los Angeles, and Miami. These parties also extended to yacht gatherings in glamorous locations like Saint-Tropez. During the late 1990s and early 2000s, Diddy became a global sensation for these lavish celebrations, which often drew numerous celebrities and were known for their excesses including beverages, substances, and exposure. However, 
The atmosphere surrounding these parties has shifted dramatically following Diddy's recent arrest on multiple trafficking charges. There's basically just, you know, so someone who brought a civil case and now uh, is, is finding themselves as a, wit a witness. As investigations unfold, new details are coming to light about what truly happened during these gatherings. In an exclusive interview with Fox News Digital, celebrity photographer Selma Fonseca, who attended many Diddy parties throughout her career, shared her insights. Fonseca was also the one who revealed Diddy's love life with Jennifer Lopez back in 1999 and she has witnessed much of what happened at these events. I mean, all his parties were incredible. The best food, the best music, drinks, entertainers, people with fire, Fonseca remarked. Many celebrities attended these events, including Ashton Kutcher, Lopez, Paris Hilton, Mariah Carey, Usher, and Jay-Z. Importantly, none of these stars have been implicated in Diddy's criminal case. It was like a mini circus. She added, recalling that LeBron James said, There's no party like a Diddy party. There was a lot of champagne going around and everything else. You could have whatever you wanted. Fonseca's first encounter with Diddy occurred at his birthday party in 1998. Yo, do you have him? And a year later, she was invited to his white party in the Hamptons. He had just bought that house in the Hamptons. And he had the white party where I was able to photograph him and J-Lo on the balcony with each other. She remembered. Her photography career gave her a unique perspective on how a Diddy party unfolded. Noting, he would walk around, say hello to everyone. You know what I mean? He was always out and about and doing something. Talking on the mic and at the DJ booth. At Diddy's parties, there were no closed VIP areas, as Fonseca explained. It was like everybody was a VIP in East Hampton. While some guests could enter certain rooms, she noted that she never went inside as she was never invited. This left her uncertain about what occurred in those spaces. However, she did see performers who were very beautiful all the time, including geishas walking around and women in revealing outfits. I've seen people in revealing outfits at his parties, she admitted. Fonseca mentioned that while she never saw anything out of the ordinary, she acknowledged that anywhere there are rich and famous people, there are pleasure providers around. She pointed out that they are often discreet. The recent indictment revealed allegations that Diddy and his associates used intimidation tactics to lure women into his orbit under the guise of romance, followed by inappropriate activities with male workers which Diddy referred to as freak-offs. Even though Fonseca didn't witness any alleged freak-offs, she described an environment where things could escalate quickly. As people were drinking, it got a little crazier, she noted. It was common for guests to take off their clothes and jump into the swimming pool. Diddy was known for being a hands-on host, always ensuring guests had drinks. He always had this tray, and he offered drinks to everyone, Fonseca shared. Initially, Diddy's party seemed innocent, often attended by the children of celebrities. However, when parents were told to put their kids away, Fonseca noted that things were going to get it crazy in a video obtained by Fox News Digital. That don't mean y'all should be extra tight. Okay, we gonna have DJ Cassidy right now get on once it tools. That don't mean y'all should be extra tight. Diddy was heard advising parents to put the kids away so that everyone else could enjoy the celebration. He explained, We fed y'all, gave y'all some drinks. Now it's time to enjoy life. Enjoy life. This is, a, this is a celebration of life. This is the legendary white party. It's the real white party. While attending Diddy's parties, Fonseca experienced a particularly nerve-wracking moment in 2006 when Diddy asked his bodyguard to take her camera after he saw her taking pictures of him with an unfamiliar girl. She was relieved when he eventually returned her camera without deleting any photos. It was scary, but he knew better. She said, Following Diddy's LA and Miami homes being raided in a trafficking investigation, Fonseca felt a mix of surprise and understanding. I wasn't really surprised, but I was surprised at the same time because I've never seen anything, she reflected. New images of Will Smith attending Diddy's party have surfaced. 
causing outrage among fans. As one of the most respected people in the industry, his presence at such an event is a disappointment. Many are now wondering if he supported Diddy's alleged unlawful activities. Could these images destroy Will Smith's career? What did he say about such allegations? Will Smith and P. Diddy have been linked since the late 1990s and early 2000s, with the two men frequently attending events together. P. Diddy released his debut single in 1996, while Will Smith released his debut single a year later in 1997. They have both been involved in various high-profile projects and have been spotted together at numerous events. In 2003, the pair were pictured together with boxing legend Muhammad Ali at a launch event for his book. Five years later, in 2008, they were spotted with Will's son, Jaden Smith, P. Diddy's son, Christian Combs, and actor Tyrese Gibson at the premiere of Columbia Pictures. However, it's not just their friendly appearances that have raised eyebrows. Old pictures of P. Diddy's parties have surfaced, showing a disturbing and objectifying display of women. One particular image from a 2004 freak-off party in Miami has sparked outrage, with a woman decoratively positioned on a table serving as a centerpiece for a food display. Diddy is seen savoring a chocolate-dipped strawberry from the woman, while other high-profile guests, including Will Smith, Bruce Willis, Diana Ross, and Owen Wilson, look on. It has been incredibly deep and hard to put into words. It goes beyond just physical harm caused by and during the assault. The party, which was attended by many A-list celebrities, has been criticized for its objectifying and exploitative treatment of women. The fact that Will Smith, a respected figure in the entertainment industry, was in attendance has raised questions about his involvement and knowledge of the events that took place. As the images of Will Smith at Diddy's parties continue to circulate, fans are left wondering, what was he thinking? And why would a religious person like him attend such events? The internet is filled with theories about Will Smith's attendance at Diddy's parties. But what do we really know? Let's explore some of the wildest theories going viral online. The most disturbing aspect of these parties is the alleged attendance of Jaden Smith, Will's son. Fans have been speculating about why Will Smith would take his son to such events, with some suggesting that it was a way of introducing him to the entertainment industry. Yes, you heard it right. According to fans, Diddy's parties have been a way for celebrities to connect with each other, build relationships, and advance their careers. These events have been a platform for industry professionals to network, collaborate, and learn from each other. All you heard was Papa, don't hit me no more. Let's go kick in the door, wave in the four four. Hey, 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 yeah. Fans have speculated that Will Smith took Jaden to Diddy's parties to help him advance his career. Jaden has since become a successful actor and rapper in his own right, and some believe that his attendance at Diddy's parties played a role in his success. Online people have been speculating about the extent of Will's involvement in P. Diddy's illegal activities, with some thinking that he may have been more involved than he has let on. Do you guys remember the incident that occurred during the 94th Oscars when Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's hair, which Will Smith took offense to? In a shocking turn of events, Will Smith walked up on stage and slapped Chris Rock across the face. It left the fans in shock and many were wondering how the situation would resolve. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, guess what? Diddy played a major role in saving his friend's reputation. He was scheduled to present the 50th anniversary tribute to the Godfather trilogy. Instead of ignoring the situation, Diddy addressed it head on, trying to lighten the mood and bring the audience back to the celebration at hand. I did not know that this year was going to be the most exciting Oscars ever. Okay, Will and Chris, we're going to solve that like family at the gold party. Okay, but right now we're moving on with love. Everybody make some noise. Diddy's comments were seen as a clear defense of Will Smith, and many speculated that it was his way of repaying Will for his loyalty. While Diddy's support for Will Smith at the Oscars seemed like a gesture of goodwill, rumors are now circulating that suggest a more sinister motive. What if Diddy's help came with a price? 
Was he trying to buy Will's silence? Do you know there are rumors of Diddy threatening Will and Jada? Fans are wondering what Diddy could possibly have on Smith that would make him feel threatened. Let's uncover this rumor. In the early 2000s, Diddy allegedly threatened to physically confront Will due to his belief that Smith and his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, were making inappropriate advances towards his then-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez. Gene Deal, a former member of Bad Boy Records' security team, recalled an encounter between Diddy and Will Smith, which took place during the time Diddy was dating Lopez prior to their breakup in 2001. According to Deal, Diddy became upset and threatened to hit Will Smith, believing that the Smiths were trying to hook up with J-Lo. Deal walked towards the rapper who told him that he felt the Smiths were making inappropriate advances towards Lopez. Diddy then requested that Deal remain in his vicinity in case he needed protection. So I go towards him, and he said to me, he said, yo, I think Will and Jada is trying to scoop up Jennifer. I want you to stay close because I'm a snuff him. <laughs> In case you don't know, Diddy and Lopez dated on and off from 1999 until early 2001, when the pair split amid strains due to Combs' looming trial on gun and bribery charges stemming from a December 1999 shooting incident at Club New York. Well, according to People, Diddy must be using footage of Will Smith at his parties as a way to threaten the actor. This could be a way for Diddy to exert control over Will Smith, potentially damaging his reputation if the footage is leaked. By using this footage, Diddy may be trying to silence Will Smith or prevent him from speaking out against him. What does Will Smith have to say about all this drama? Did anyone ever try to warn us about Diddy's illegal activities and intentions? Stay with us as we uncover the details. The allegations against Diddy are serious, and fans are eager to know whether Will Smith was involved in any way. As a regular attendee at Diddy's parties, Will Smith's presence has raised questions about his knowledge of the alleged wrongdoing. Fans are demanding answers, but so far, Will Smith has remained tight-lipped. It is worrying his fans who are starting to lose patience. As one of the most respected figures in Hollywood, Will Smith's reputation is built on his integrity and moral compass. His failure to address the allegations is starting to erode that reputation, and fans are beginning to wonder if he is hiding something. The allegations against Diddy are disastrous, and if Will Smith is found to be involved, it could have a devastating impact on his career. We've already seen what the Oscars incident did to his reputation and these allegations could be the final nail in the coffin. Well, there are many other well-known figures who warned us about his wild parties before his arrest. In 2019, Ashton Kutcher hinted at the wild nature of Diddy's parties. According to him, he had a bizarre relationship with Diddy. Kutcher explained that their friendship started over a prank on his show Punked, and they would often hang out and watch football together. Diddy party stories, they're our favorite genre of anecdote, if oh, you really? have one, yeah. Wow, okay, I've got a lot I can't tell. <laughs> so, um, I can't tell that one either. I mean, I'm like actually cycling through them. There was one moment, so I, it's not really a party story, but our relationship was really bizarre. So it started over punked, because yeah. he was like, yo, don't punk you me. can't punk me. And I was like, I don't want to tell you, everybody's on the table. He's like, not me, I'm off the table. And so that started our conversation. However, Kutcher's tone suggested that there was more to the story, and he seemed hesitant to share details. In a 2014 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Khloe Kardashian seemingly shared details about attending a Diddy party. According to her, she went there to see the lifestyle of people, but it was too crazy and wild for her. Court, I got on a plane at 5.30 a.m. Well, this party, I think half of the people there were butt naked. You would have loved. Her comments suggested that she was both fascinated and intimidated by the party scene. Even singer Usher recalled living with Diddy for a year in the 90s and attending some of his parties. When asked if he would let any of his kids attend one of Diddy's parties, Usher declared, absolutely not. Dad, now, would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> 
Not only Usher, even 50 Cent has been vocal about his discomfort with Diddy's parties. He claimed that Diddy made him uncomfortable with his illogical statements, including one time when Diddy asked him to go shopping together. 50 Cent looked at him like, what did you just say? And seemed infuriated by the comment. Last but not least, Cat Williams claimed that he turned down a staggering $50 million offer to attend one of Diddy's parties. Williams stated that he had to decline the offer four times in order to protect his integrity. He didn't want to compromise his values and humorously mentioned he wanted to maintain his dignity intact, implying that attending the party would have required him to do something that went against his principles. It seems like celebrities were pressured to attend his wild parties. Williams also hinted that more celebrity scandals would soon come to light. Guess what? He was right. The comments from these celebrities indicate a pattern of behavior from Diddy, one that is both wild and uncomfortable. While some stars have been drawn to Diddy's parties, others have been put off by the energy and atmosphere. As everyone has their eyes on Diddy, recent developments in his case are disturbing. What was his response to these allegations? How has his legal team responded to the allegations? You know, every day until he's out, I will be here with him, working on his defense, uh, making... Will these allegations affect his career and business empire? Let's take a deeper look into this. The case against Diddy continues to unfold with new developments emerging in recent weeks. The disgraced singer has been named in over 10 lawsuits, all of which allege inappropriate conduct, coercion, and extensive use of controlled substances. Last month, he was indicted by a grand jury and later arrested on federal charges related to racketeering and trafficking. He was taken into federal custody in New York and has been denied bail twice. Diddy is currently being held at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn while awaiting trial. The latest lawsuit against Diddy was filed by Danity Kane member Dawn Richard, who alleges that Diddy behaved inappropriately and unlawfully confined her and threatened her life when she tried to defend his then-girlfriend Cassie. Richard's allegations are just the latest in a growing list of accusations against Diddy. There is basically just, you know, so someone who brought a civil case and... Recently, a list of 120 serious misconduct allegations has been filed against Diddy. You will be shocked to know that the complaints against Diddy stretch back to 1991, with the youngest alleged victim being just nine years old. 25 others claim they were minors at the time of the alleged incidents. According to attorney Tony Busby, who is representing the case, a list of individuals allegedly associated with Diddy is expected to be made public soon. Busby hinted that the list includes well-known figures. The list is expected to be released as part of a series of significant new lawsuits, which will be filed across multiple states in the next 30 days. According to accusers, Diddy's well-known white parties are linked to hotels with controlled substances frequently mentioned. His parties in Ibiza were the epitome of hedonism and excess. The rapper's fixer, who worked with him during his visits to the island, has revealed the extent of Diddy's wild benders and the lengths to which he would go to ensure that his parties were the most talked about events in town. His fixer recalled that no expense was spared when it came to organizing these events. From the moment Diddy and his entourage arrived on the island, they were treated to the best that Ibiza had to offer. This included luxury cars, tables at the most exclusive clubs, yachts, and even private security. Moreover, his parties were a magnet for beautiful young women, and his fixer would often be tasked with selecting the most attractive guests to join the rapper and his friends at his villa. These parties would often go on until the early hours of the morning, with guests indulging in various substances. It is also revealed that Diddy was very particular about his drinks, and his fixer would often have to ensure that his favorite vodka, Ciroc, was always on hand. The rapper was also very fashion conscious, and would always dress immaculately, even when partying. Diddy's fixer also revealed that the rapper would often bring a special bag with him on his trips to Ibiza. This bag contained a variety of playful items and accessories intended to add an extra layer of thrill to his parties. Well, Diddy has denied all accusations and entered a not guilty plea to the criminal charges. His team has maintained that the allegations are false and that Diddy is innocent.
he's innocent. Uh, he came to New York to establish his innocence. He's not afraid. But what impact will these allegations have on his career? It will have a significant impact as he has been dropped by several business partners and has faced widespread backlash on social media. The case has also raised questions about the culture of the music industry and the ways in which powerful individuals can use their influence to exploit and abuse others. Diddy's legal team is fighting for his release after the third denied bail request by filing an appeal and adding prominent attorneys Anthony Rico and Alexandra Shapiro to the trial team. They had offered a $50 million bail package with conditions to address the government's concerns about his potential danger to the community. The conditions included Diddy wearing a GPS monitoring device at all times, being restricted to his home except for court appearances and meetings with his lawyers, being prohibited from contacting the alleged victims or witnesses in the case, and having no female visitors outside his family. The government has expressed concerns about Diddy's potential danger to the community, arguing that his wealth and influence make him a flight risk and that he has the resources to intimidate or harm the alleged victims and witnesses in the case. U.S. District Judge Andrew Carter denied Diddy's request for bail, stating that the government has proven the defendant is a danger. The judge's decision was based on the government's evidence, which included testimony from the alleged victims and witnesses, as well as records of Diddy's past behavior. Diddy remains in custody as his legal team continues to fight for his release. But before we move further, let's rewind a bit. What relationship did Diddy have with Justin Bieber? What was Bieber doing spending so much time with Diddy as a teenager? And why is this raising concerns now? That's where we're heading next. So don't go anywhere. Early connection between Diddy and Bieber. The relationship between Sean Diddy Combs and Justin Bieber stretches back to when Bieber was a teenager, and it has now come under heavy scrutiny. When Bieber was only 15, he found himself spending time with Diddy, who was over 40 at the time. One of the most discussed moments from their time together is a resurfaced 2009 video where Diddy talks about how he was given custody of Bieber for 48 hours. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me, so, um... Diddy even jokes about going full crazy and not being able to disclose what they were doing during the time. Although, at the time, this might have seemed harmless to some, in light of the serious allegations against Diddy, fans are revisiting these moments with growing concern. Several videos have resurfaced in the wake of Diddy's sex trafficking charges, and fans are now viewing them in a much darker light. In the 2009 clip, Diddy makes cryptic remarks about spending time with Bieber, which many find unsettling. Diddy, an established industry mogul referring to Bieber as being under his custody, has raised serious questions, especially now that Diddy faces allegations of exploiting vulnerable individuals. Another clip from a 2016 party has also gone viral, in which Bieber, visibly awkward, smiles as Diddy talks about their plans to go out and get some girls. While these moments were perhaps brushed off at the time as part of Bieber's rise in the entertainment industry, they now add fuel to conspiracy theories about what was really happening behind the scenes. Fans are questioning why a teenager was spending so much time in such situations with someone far older, and whether Bieber might have been taken advantage of. The reaction from fans in the media has been swift and critical. On platforms like X, formerly Twitter, users are expressing their shock, calling the videos creepy and disturbing. Some fans are openly wondering why no one stepped in to protect Bieber during his teenage years, particularly given Diddy's influence and wealth. Bieber's apparent discomfort in the resurfaced clips has only added to the concern, with many seeing it as a sign that something more sinister may have been happening. Despite the growing attention surrounding these videos and the charges against Diddy, Justin Bieber has remained conspicuously silent. Sources close to him suggest that Bieber is focused on his family and personal life, especially after recently becoming a father. However, fans are left speculating about the reasons behind his silence. Given Bieber's traumatic experiences in the music industry, which he has spoken about in the past, some wonder if there is more to the story than meets the eye. Bieber's decision to not publicly address the issue has left a gap that fans and critics alike are eager to fill. 
whether he is avoiding the controversy to protect his own mental health or to distance himself from Diddy's legal troubles remains unclear. Still, his silence only adds more layers to the mystery surrounding his past relationship with Diddy. But while fans speculate, the legal case against Diddy continues to evolve.